is TV and voiceover actor Will Friedel, who plays Terry McGinnis over at Batman Beyond. Um, he's here to celebrate the 20th anniversary edition and to talk about what's coming up at this new edition. So, hey, Mr. Squirrel, how's it going? How are you? I've been wanting to say that to you for the longest time. You can call me plays with. I mean, you got it on the Twitter page. I'm like, maybe he still wants to be referred to. That's Mr. really squirrel, funny. I love so. that. You're the first squirrels today. Yes. <laughs> I'm Boy Meets World fan. I'm here to be there. Awesome. So, hey, congratulations for Hall H, first of all. I mean, it Thank must you. have been a really nice sandwich between R. Schwarzenegger, Tom Cruise, and uh, you're like back. Can back. you believe that I walked out? There's Schwarzenegger walks by me, and we're waiting to go out, and then there comes Tom Cruise, and she's like, "Okay, Tom okay. Cruise, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then us." That's when you so know love you it. Made it. That's when <laughs> it was you pretty know. great, though. That was very cool. Yeah. We were there, so we saw you guys, and we're just like, "That's a lucky panel." That yeah, it was pretty great. Yeah, totally cool. So with that maybe on, so what's it like? Well, first off, congratulations. You're Thank celebrating you. your 20th anniversary. What's it like looking back? And also looking back at it go, that's how I started with my career. It's one of my, your early starts in your career. It was. It was my first ever animated series. Yep. So uh, it, it holds such a special place in my heart. It really does. And it always will. But the, the fact that it's the, the show has endured for as long as it has and people still love it and we have huge fans all over the world um, is great. Okay. Yeah. And now, you know, um, Batman is celebrating his 80th anniversary. Yeah. What is it about Batman that just draws people in and willing to see any reincarnation about it? I mean, you've been in this franchise for the longest time, so what's your take on it? Uh, my take on it is very simple. Batman is just a man, um, yeah. and that's what people love. He, he doesn't have any superpowers. He's not an alien. Um, he's simply a man who uses just his will and his money, uh, but really just his, his heart and his will to go out and right the wrongs that he thinks he sees. He also doesn't kill. Which yeah. is uh, which is hugely important. So I think uh, I think that that resonates with people. It really does. You've been in the franchise for a while. I mean, with the fandom, have you seen it? I mean, this big. I mean, has it just been gradually growing with it over time? It does. I mean, yeah, people were skeptical of Beyond when it started because they heard Teenage Batman and they thought it was going to be something very cartoony. Right. And then they got this really dark brooding kind of younger Batman and uh, the fans loved it so uh, you know we were we were we were bashed a little before we ever aired and then we aired and then we had a whole bunch of fans so it was we were excited about that as an actor what have you learned about yourself as an actor with this, with this uh, pop culture I mean it's one of those pop culture Batman is like they got intense fans I mean yeah you? no you know what I you know what I've learned uh, really is the thing Pop culture to me also usually means nostalgia, and nostalgia to me usually just means comfort. Yeah. So it's the thing that takes us back to making us feel comfortable and warm and happy. And I have a friend who calls it comfort food, another who just calls it the blanket at the foot of your foot of your bed. I mean, I think it's a wonderful thing. So you know, nostalgia is for you whatever's going to bring you there. And I think Batman Beyond does yeah. that for some people. Batman the Animated Series does it for certain people. Boy Meets World does it for certain yep. people. It just you. It is that comfort food. It takes you back to a time when everything on television wasn't so horrible with the news and everything else. So it's just you're happy and you're warm and you're comfortable and uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like that. It's just a great way to escape from reality. Yeah. Moment. That's good. Or take you back to a time when reality was yeah. just a little easier. Like Boy Meets World reruns. So like, just give me back See, there you go. Days, there please. you go. Um, you have a lot of projects. How do you balance, do, uh, balance the work-life balance thing and with your busy schedule? Um, it, it can be tough. Uh, you know, I, I was in Italy yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, um, and, uh, you know, I flew back for this. So, uh, I haven't been home yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, a little tired and a little dizzy, okay. but uh, in a good way. Oh. Uh, just seeing the world and flying out and doing a whole bunch of projects. So Not you just bad. kind of, you keep going. Uh, it, this is a this is a very fickle business. I've been really lucky. I've been doing yeah. it for 32 years. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you know, we live in a business where it can end any day. So you, sure. you do as much as you can when you can. No, we'll, we'll take that. And then what do you hope fans take? Uh, the, the important message that takes, you know, they, with Terry McGinnis' character and all. Um, you know, if you find find something you want you fight for it you fight uh, for the things that you believe in and um, you know you 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 rise above whatever you can I love that okay we'll wrap it up with that folks be sure to catch Batman Beyond coming to you via blu-ray and DVD over in October I'm Michelle Noel with Will Friedel and we'll see you guys next time thank bye. you bye